Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when body cam game is not launching on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to simply restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to verify the game file. This is important. So make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to try these in launch options. So go to game properties once again, make a right click properties and under general here you can see launch option in the launch option you can just type in dash force space there is one space dash dx11 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working then you can try direct x11 or direct x12 in the launch option so again make a right click on the game let me close the game first so make a right click on the game and then go to properties go to properties and this time type in dash dx11 and then launch the game and then check if that does not work again make a right click select properties and this time type in dash dx12 and then launch the game and then check still not working then you can remove all these and then follow the next step now the next step is to delete system config file or you can even delete the save game files but you will lose all the saved settings and the game progress so if you agree you can do that so open file explorer and then go to this pc open c drive now open users folder and then open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data on the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items you should be able to open app data folder open app data open the local folder and then open body cam folder and over here you will see save folder open save games folder and here you can see system config dot json file you can make a right click and then delete it once this is deleted now you can launch the game still you are facing the problem in that case you can go back and then when you see the body cam folder make a right click and then delete it delete the body cam and then launch the game and then check the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder make a right click on the game exe files select properties and go to second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok and then make a double click over here and launch the game from the game installation folder if that does not work again go to properties and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game again not working then go to properties and this time put a check over here uh, select windows 7 this time and then hit apply click on ok and then launch the game and then check it still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization and then hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working open body cam folder binaries win64 select this exe file and do the same thing go to properties and then go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work select windows 8 over here hit apply click on ok and launch the game and then check if that does not work select windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then launch the game and then check so still not working in that case when you put a check on all these boxes still not working then you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and then go back and then do the same thing with the first exe file make a right click select properties and then uncheck all these boxes and then follow the next step now the next step is to windows security users allow the game exe file to windows security if you are using any kind of third party antivirus like komodo avast avg mcafee not on bit defender whichever antivirus uh, program you are using allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now for windows security you can go to windows settings 
and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 you will have an option update and security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection and then scroll down at the end you will see manage a ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allowed app browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 now open the steam folder and then open the steam apps folder and then open the common folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open once it is added again click on add and allowed app browse all apps and then open body cam binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on open once the game is added now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel now click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added again click on allow another app browse and then open body cam binaries win64 select this exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added so once the game is added over here now you can click on ok on the bottom now launch the game and then check now the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so go to update and security or windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select product type for me it's geforce so select your product type and then select your graphic product series now uh, for for me it's uh, geforce rtx 30 series so make sure that you select your series over here now once you select your series then select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then for this download type it's game ready driver and then click on search now you will see the latest uh, graphic driver over here now click on download and then again click on download and once the download is complete you have to run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation put a check over here and then click on next and once the driver is installed now you can restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on options and then select high performance over here and then click on save again click on browse and then this time open body cam binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on add once the game is added now you can click on options select high performance over here now click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and download x64 you have to download these two files so click on x86 once the download is complete run this exe file and then if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install in my case it is already installed it's telling me a restart is required i have to restart my computer i have already installed it so please ignore this now download x64 file and once the download is complete run this x64 file and again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install in my case i have already installed so please ignore these two error message once both the files are installed once both are installed then you have to restart your computer you can click on restart on the box or simply restart your computer from here and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory 
So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1, 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to Unplug all the external devices. So if you have any kind of external devices connected to the computer, you can disconnect it. If you have any kind of extra controller connected to the computer, disconnect. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any kind of third party application or services running, you can close it. Disable overlay. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then in general, here you can see enable the Steam overlay while in game, turn this off and then check also close all the other overlay applications so if you have discord running ge force experience running either you can turn off the overlay in discord or ge force experience or you can simply close this application overlay application and then check also if you have any kind of overclocking application running like msi afterburner reward tuner any kind of overclocking application close it and then check perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so make sure that you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also if you have undervoted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to update your system bios so you can go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. So whichever brand you have, go to your system manufacturer website and select your model number. Make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest BIOS update available and then update your system BIOS. Now, before you update the system BIOS, in case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer and then update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game.
next step is to if you are able to launch the game if you are not able to launch the game you can skip this step but if you are able to launch the game you can switch to window mode lower down hdr display profile and lower down graphic settings and then check the performance so if you are able to launch the game launch the game first so go to settings and then go to video and then go to display and over here go to colors and under colors here you can see this HDR display profile now if this is set to the last one you can just you can just lower it down so for me I have selected sRGB so try to lower it down then hit apply and that should fi fix any kind of black screen now go up over here if this is set to like full screen mode you can try bottle borderless you can even go for window mode and then check now over here you can see resolution display resolution you can if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more and then for the fps now if this is set to unlocked for me uh, i have logged it to i will lock it to 60 you can you can try 120 or you can even set it to 60 vsync if this is on you can turn it off and then apply the settings now if you are using a HDR in that case you can HDR display profile you can set it to low or you can even if you want you can turn off HDR now go to display uh, go to graphics and save the settings and then go to graphics now over here if you are using AMD FSR then set it to quality now if the frame generation is on you can turn this off so I will turn off the frame generation and I will set AMD F FSR 3 to quality set to quality and then check now if you're using like upscale quality in that case you can set it to medium or you can set it to even you can go for low quality so I will set it to medium and then if all the settings are like motion blur if this is on you can turn it off if this is set to epic you can set it to high or medium so I will set it to medium so lower down graphic settings and then apply the settings and then check the performance now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game and then check so if nothing is working you can simply make a right click on the game select manage and then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then reinstall the game to c drive so if the game is installed in d drive or e drive to any external drive you can uninstall the game and then reinstall the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed in C drive, then you can try to install the game on another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.